everybody, it's Beth. Welcome to Infinite Garden. Today I have a holiday party to go to and so I'm sitting down to get ready. So Merit was so kind as to send this box to me. If you're not familiar with them, they do sell their products on their own website and then also at Sephora. They are a clean, vegan and cruelty-free brand. And I've tried a few of their products with my own money. They've been kind enough to send me a few products along the way, so I was really excited to receive this and work with them again. So I'm going to be using all of these products and just checking in with you. I've been using them all week. I don't really love filming first impressions because it takes me a while to get a sense of makeup and I don't always think it's fair. So I did want to have a chance to really get to know and feel these products and I'll be talking a lot about that as we go. I did use this mini of the Great Skin Serum. I just shook it up accidentally. You can see it settling. This is the product that does separate into two layers. It has both niacinamide and hyaluronic acid in it. What I've been doing is using this after my um, Shiseido Ultimune Serum that I use. Then I use this and then I put on a moisturizer. I did try this one morning as a primer underneath my Tom Ford foundation, and it didn't love that. I'll try to include a picture of how that went. I don't think that's recommended, at least not by me, um, but I have really liked it as skin prep, generally speaking, under my next moisturizer. The Great Skin is under my Glossier Priming Moisturizer. So for my base, I'm going to use Glossier's Perfecting Skin Tint in G11. This is a very neutral light color. The Perfecting Skin Tint, I've talked about this before on my channel, it's one of my favorite foundations on the market and I think it's really great for mature skin. It's an extremely light coverage foundation, it just sort of gives you a little bit of color evening and it soaks right into the skin, it doesn't sit on top of it and it doesn't break up and over the course of the day I just find it very light and easy to wear, it's just a little something. The Merit Great Skin does offer a bit of a dewy finish which I think goes beautifully with the Glossier Skin Tint. Okay, for concealing, I'm going to use the Kosas um, Concealer. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this one. This is a new product to me, and I was excited to see that Kosas offered a light olive. I would say that is the clearest kind of description of what my skin is. Sometimes I'll say it's light neutral, but I really do have olive undertones and for a lot of us in that category, we have to make do with whatever else is on the market because it's really its own category. It's not pink or orange, and we spend a lot of time trying to manage you know, if our foundation is too pink or too orange. So to actually have you know, an olive tone already contemplated is such a godsend. So I'm just going to do a little bit of concealing, and then I'm going to blend the rest of that in. This has great coverage, and I do think that it plays really nicely with the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. Take it a little bit down my neck. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna let both of those products just sit on my face for a little bit and kind of meld together, and I'm gonna focus on my brows. Before I start working on my brows, I am gonna put some eyeshadow primer on. This is the NARS Smudge Proof. I'm just gonna get some of that on my eyes now just to get that on and set. For brows, I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills in Ash, their micro pencil. If you haven't checked out my video on the best brow colors for gray hair, I can leave a link down below or a card up above. I find the Ash colored products, there's a, you know, a lot of different companies that make Ash brown, and I seem to find that to be the most harmonious with my hair color here. So I've been enjoying that. ABH does make a good one. So I'm going to use the Merit Brow Gel that came with this Lafette edition. What's kind of interesting is that when you see this, you might think that the that this end is going to hold the component, but it's actually on the longer end. Anyway, it's just a little, you know, clear, clear brow gel, which is what I like. Merit had previously sent me a brow gel in the color, I think it was brown. And it's a very nice product, but I think I do like a clear brow gel better just because my eyebrows are sparse. And sometimes I can find that, you know, it doesn't look as good as maybe it would on somebody with a good full bushy brows. So the, the clear seems to be a little more flattering on me. And I really like this product. To me in the mirror here, it looks a little bit fluffier and then just a little more polished without looking unnatural. 
I find that the hold is pretty good. It's not as strong as like an ABH gel, that which is a super strong hold, but it's not that light of a hold either. I do find that it holds all day. But like if I pull on a turtleneck sweater over my brows, they might get a little mussed up. It's not like glue. They're just nice and well-groomed looking, fluffy and in place. And I'm really happy with the clear color for me personally. So I'm just really happy with that. It's a good product. Right now you can see that my skin is already kind of gleaming, I would say. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually start with the highlighting wand from Merit before I go in for my blush, which is what I've been doing all week. And I think I find I like that the best. Do I have the other? One second. So this is the Merit highlighting wand that they sent me in the color Bounce. So this is the component that it comes in and the cap comes off. And what you have here is like a balm product. There's quite a lot of product in the tube. I think this is a full size and not a mini. There's more in here. So this is how much you get. This is a very emollient balm and I've been applying it with a brush. I really love this product. Of all of the products that came in this little box, I think I'm the most geeked about this. So I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand so you can see. What this is, is a balm-based shine product, but it has like a clear base and it shines back like it's wet. This is a gorgeous highlighting product and I think it works really well on mature skin. One of the things with highlighters, especially if we're sweeping it over where we have lines and sometimes those lines aren't that fine, the powder products can emphasize them. I find that this particular product just makes my skin look dewy and shiny without necessarily like looking like a highlighter sitting on top of it. And I wanted, before I put it on my face, I wanted to compare it to Glossier's Halo Scope. If you see my video reviewing all of Glossier's products, I do mention that I bought Halo Scope and ended up not using it much. It's similar, right? It comes in a stick format like this. It's kind of a similar product. You know, they're not that different from each other, but Glossier has like a balm in the center. And that balm in the center is almost in the end kind of like, to me, it's a little bit like a a chapsticky feeling. The Merit one doesn't offer that. The Halo Scope, you can see them on my hands. They do a lot of the same thing, but I feel as though the Halo Scope, when the light isn't shining on it, the, the product itself is still visible and it can create a little bit of a, um, just an obvious effect and it's quite a bit lighter than my skin. So it often just feels as though it's visible, but the Merit product is more subtle and winds up just looking a little bit wet. So I kind of feel like Merit was able to perfect the Glossier Halo Scope here. You can just put it right on your face, which I did a couple of times, but after wearing this all week, I have found that I prefer it on a brush. So I'm just gonna use this little angled soft brush and just pick some up. And so what I've been doing is just putting it right at the high point of my cheekbone and then just kind of tapping it in with a brush and letting it blend. I don't know if you can see the difference. My skin is pretty shiny. This is with the highlighter by Merit and then this is without. Let me add it on this side so you can see it kind of amp up. Do you see that? It just amps up the shine just a little bit. What I have found is that this is something I want to use every single day, whether or not I'm doing much makeup at all. I just feel like it makes my skin look kind of that glassy, hydrated, dewy effect. I think it's really, really pretty. I've been enjoying it. I'm not afraid of a powder highlight, but you really have to be careful with them. So I'm just going to put that kind of at the high points there. This, I have found that over the course of the day, retains much of its shininess without disappearing, but it also doesn't leave a sticky feeling on the skin in the way that the Halo Scope does. The Halo Scope feels as though there's like chapstick on my skin and the Merit Highlighting Balm dries down 
and it's very elegant and very beautiful. For me, this is a standout product and I really like it. I've been hanging on to the Halo Scope partly as just a comparison tool for use on my channel and I'm glad that I did that because it is so similar in concept to Merit's, but I think Merit did it better. I'm going to use a powder blush. You know, I really like Benefits blushes. This year they released a whole new line of colors. I bought the full size of Java, which is a beautiful rosy brown, and I found that to be very wearable for me. And then I also got two little minis. They describe Shelly as a warm seashell pink and Starla as a rosy bronze. I think that today for the party, since we're going to be doing a red lip, I think I'm going to keep it on the lighter side and just do a little bit of Shelly. I like these little minis. I find it's really hard for me to get through a whole blush. And this mini size is just perfect. So I'm gonna do a light touch of the blush and I'm gonna go right over the highlighter, which you can see doesn't take it down too far. I think it might help set it a little bit. And I think it helps sets the blush in place as well. So I've been doing the highlight first and the blush second, and I feel like that has been looking really good. One of the things about having a complexion that is kind of in the olive family it's common for folks if you live in a seasonal climate where it, you know you get sun in the summer and then you hide out inside in the winter time. My skin tone changes drastically between winter and summer and I end up looking quite a bit more gray and pale in the winter time and I can look a little more you know, bronzy and, and warm in the summertime. So my blush needs really change drastically with the seasons. I find sometimes that in the winter time I'm really looking for a pale, a paler, brighter blush just to bring a little bit of life back into my cheeks. I am doing my complexion before my eyes because I do feel like sometimes it helps me from going too crazy with my eyes. I do have a tendency to go a little wild. I'm also going to do a little bit of light bronzing. I'm going to be using the Gucci bronzer. This is a beautiful bronzer if you have light olive skin. It ends up having a bit of a rosy tone. You know, I've been buying some new makeup and not really sharing it on my channel. I've been buying it and then sometimes I think, oh, I should get a review up on my channel for everyone to see, but I don't always know what I think yet, you know? I kind of want to try things for a while and see, especially with these higher end products, because what I don't want to do is kind of encourage everybody to go spend a ton of money on an expensive bronzer if I don't even know if I like it yet, I don't even know if it's worth it. So, you know, I expect to be talking a little bit more about some of these products maybe in the new year once I really feel like I know what I think. It's kind of counterintuitive with the YouTube algorithm. Of course, you know, you're supposed to get these things out the second they're on the market. It doesn't necessarily work that well for me. But I'll tell you here and now, this bronzer has been really lovely for me. I have said on my channel before that I really struggle with bronzers going orange on me. Merit did send me their bronzing stick, which is very neutral by any account, but on my skin, on my light olive skin, it still reads as a little too orange. I need my bronzers to lean a little more toward the rose tone for them to really look like they're native to my skin and I'm not like having makeup sitting on top of it. It's just about my complexion color. Okay, this is where we are right now with my complexion. We're looking pretty dewy. We're looking a little bit minimalist. I'm not doing too much, but I feel like I look clean and bright. My eyes are primed. I'm ready to go. So I think, you know, I already said I have some new makeup I haven't talked about yet on my channel. I do have Natasha Denona's Retro Glam here. I do intend to film a review of this and give it its due. I also have Natasha Denona's My Dream, and I've given that one you know, a ton of time. I've worn it almost every day for a month recently, and I have a lot of thoughts about that. So I do expect to do a full review of that palette and of this palette. I also have in front of me Pat McGrath's Moonlit Seduction. I did a full review of this palette when it first came out, and I just wanted to let you all know that I really do love this palette and I'm getting a ton of use out of it. And I kind of want to use it again, honestly because I really want to use this deeper shade just for some structure. And then I want to use some of these shimmers. <laughs> it's a party. I'm going to a holiday party. I want to use these glitters. So that's what we're going to do. I use these palettes in an everyday sort of way. And I mean every day. I wear them into the office. I wear them to do whatever. And all of these, even though this palette has so many like bananas sparkly shades, 
it's still super wearable. So I'm gonna do a wearable party look for today. I'm gonna go into this deep shade here and just make a little bit of structure in my eye. I love this deep shade in the Pat McGrath Moonlit Seduction. It is almost like a watercolor dark shade. It's not sooty, it's almost sheer. And it is this very neutral grayish dark brown. I find it to be one of the most useful and flattering shades in my entire eyeshadow collection. I love it and it's one of the reasons why I can't put this palette down. I've said this before about the Pat McGrath motherships. If you're interested in them, they're very expensive. They're $129 now. They're over $120. It's an extreme purchase. These always come out around my birthday. So I, I almost every year buy one for myself as a birthday present. So I have more than I need. But this particular one has been really useful for me. And I've said it again, if you're interested in one of these, I, I personally recommend looking at the matte shades. Pat's mattes are amazing. And I find that if the mattes look like shades that work well with you and are flattering on a daily basis, then this palette will become worth it because you will want to use those shades every day and then you'll find yourself really enjoying the shimmers. Maybe, I do. I find myself enjoying the shimmers. I guess I can only speak for myself. But Moonlit Seduction, especially if you're, again, in kind of like the olive -y neutral space, this particular color scheme has been very flattering for me. If these aren't the undertones that flatter you, then I wouldn't recommend getting it, honestly. It's not about the object, it's about its use value in your day-to-day -day life, and if you think you'll use it, at least that's how I see it. Okay, so this is what I've got going on, just a little bit of dimension. I am going to blend out some of the edges of that with this lighter, lustrous shade. Just up here, it's a little bit of shine that I'm adding here to the brow bone, but which normally is like, not always my thing. I don't want to look too Y2K here. I bring that in here just a little bit. What I don't want to do is make a colorful look on my eyes because we are going to get into this beautiful red lipstick that's in this kit and I'll be showing that to you in just a minute. So what I'm really looking for is just a pretty almost you know neutral eye but with some glam so okay here's what I've done I've added a little bit of shine to the brow bone in the inner corner I'm gonna use this shade here I think this is called Blitz Venus this is a kind of pink glitter shade it's unbelievably wearable to me and super sparkly I'm gonna come in closer for the next one so you can see. Okay, so here it is on this eye now. Got it all over my lashes. I'm gonna show you on my other eye, so. Sure, I'm in frame. This is one of the reasons I love this palette so much. I love it so much. These Blitz shades in wearable neutrals are an absolute game changer. If you wanted to apply this type of glitter with a brush, you would get a little bit of a more subtle finish and you would get less fallout, but that's not what I want today because we're going to a party. Clean up the edges just a little bit with what's left on my foundation brush. Okay, and I might go back in with a little more of the deeper color now that I've got the glitter on it. This looks so cute. I really do love this Pat McGrath palette. I just do. Sorry to report that. I just love it. It's such a treat. I'm using the Sisley Phyto Coal Star, excuse me in this number two color brown. I use it mostly just a tight line. I'm not gonna do a wing with it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Merit also sent along this mascara. And you know, I am really glad I had all week to try this mascara. It's one of the products I would, you know, be the most apprehensive about doing a first impressions on because 
mascara, it's the whole soup to nuts. It's both how it applies the first time you try it, it's the entire life of the product, it's how it wears during the day, it's how it washes off at night. And you know, I've only had this for a week, so I can't tell you about how it, it's going to age. I don't know that. But what I do know is that it is a beautiful mascara. I have found that it is lengthening, but not necessarily clumping at all. So you do not get clumping. You can put on multiple layers and it won't clump. I think the product that I would say reminds me the most of that I've tried before is the Clinique Gloss, the Glossy Mascara. I feel like it's similar to that one, although I do think it offers a little bit more of a glam effect than the Clinique one. I found that it washes off beautifully and it also doesn't smudge at all during the day. I've had zero flaking or smudging from this. It's a great black color, like beautiful glossy, glossy black and I just love the effect. I'll zoom in so you can see the difference between one side to the other. I'm just going in with a couple extra layers on my outer, the outer edge of my eye just for a little effect. And oh my god, I think this mascara is gorgeous. Truly. Take a look. Merit on this side, natural on the other side. I have it on the top and bottom, a couple of extra layers on the outside. I love it, it's a great mascara. I forgot to show you what the brush looks like. This is a mini size of the mascara, but I think the brush is probably about accurate. It's a big, fat, fuzzy brush, which I think is helping kind of comb through the lashes and to keep them from getting too clumpy. Okay, I think that's about as much as we can handle for mascara. On to the lipstick. Oh, before I get to the lipstick, I'm actually going to powder my face now that I'm here. I do think it needs a little bit. A couple of weeks ago, I posted a review of drugstore products and I tried this Makeup Revolution translucent powder. Oh my God, it's so messy. Ugh. Anyway, I tried this Makeup Revolution translucent powder and I said I wasn't wowed by it, but that I would report back. And I really like it. I've been using it almost every day since then. You know, if you're curious about it, I have actually found this to be a really beautiful, delicate, invisible powder on, on my skin. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on. I still wanna keep the highlight on my cheek intact, which it has, but I just wanna take down a little bit. That's it, easy peasy. Onto the fun part, the lipstick. So this package includes one full size of their signature lip in the color Aperitif, which is a beautiful, beautiful red just a fabulous red. This formula I really enjoy. I actually have three other of their lipsticks in other shades. I'm just going to show them really quickly. These I purchased with my own money and I'm really glad I did. I have a fabulous brown in the color 1990. I'll show you what that looks like. This one goes on really sheer. It's kind of in a similar format as their other products. It's sort of a little bit sheer, but still has lovely pigment and it's very wearable and nourishing. I also have their color Baby, which is like a grayish pink. I'll show you this one. On me, this is a beautiful kind of slightly pinkish rosy neutral. I love it. I find it absolutely incredibly wearable. I just swipe it on sometimes without even looking. It's in my purse at all times. And then I also have the shade Lavenu, which I used in a video about fall makeup. This is a deeper berry tone, very beautiful brownish berry. So I'm already really into their lipsticks. So I was excited to get a red version. So let me just show you next to those on the back of my hand. Aperitif is a red, but it's a beautiful wearable shade. Look at this. You can see here, it's a little brighter than the others. So I've got it on the back of my other hand. I'm gonna compare it to a couple of other reds in my collection because as you may know, I love a red lip. I just love it. This is Pat McGrath's Elson 2, which is a very different formula, but you can kind of see how they relate to one another. 
They're both bright. You can see this is Le this is Aperitif and this is Elson 2. They're both warm reds. Elson 2 is a little more opaque. And then I've also got Rare Beauties. This is I think these are lip souffles in the color Inspire. I think Inspire is quite a bit more orange than either of these. Really like the color Inspire. This is glossy zip. You know, I feel like you could really compare zip to aperitif. And in a lot of ways, you know, honestly, I feel like Merit's coming for Glossier's lunch because Zip is in the Generation G formula, which is a sheer matte. This is a sheer shiny shade, and I feel like it's a lot more comfortable to wear, and it may unseat Zip for my collection. I've not decluttered Zip over the years because I really do like that sheer bright red. I find it very useful. So I'm gonna start first by doing a little bit of lip lining because it is such a bright shade and it's so sheer that it can be a little bit imprecise. And I think that's a benefit of this formula in some ways, but it's also something you have to look out for. I'm gonna use Pat McGrath's Lip Liner in Buff, which is similar to my own lip color. That was a really quick and dirty lip lining job. Okay, going in with the red lip. Ugh. This formula is so nice. It almost feels like, like a lip balm, like a chapstick almost. It's balmy, it's comfortable, and it's thin. You know, it's not thick and sticky. And even though it's sheer, the color is really good. Like, it still has even pigmentation. It's not patchy or skippy. It just sort of flows. Can you see this? It's really just so cute. This is such a beautiful, beautiful red lip. I think it's perfect for a holiday party. So this is, I think this is an excellent holiday party makeup look. I've got a little fireworks sparkling on the eyes and I've got a festive red lip that's going to be very comfortable for me. It's also good to reapply. So I'll pop this one in my purse and be able to just apply this readily when it gets a little worn off. It will wear off after eating and drinking. This isn't a long stay lip. It's very comfortable to wear and I think the color is beautiful. So I'm super happy with this. I wanted to say thank you to Merit for sending this to me and supporting my small channel. I do have a link below if any of this is interesting to you. I have an affiliate link in the description box below. If you were to click on that link and go to Merit's site and make a purchase, I will receive a small commission. There's zero pressure to do that. I'm just disclosing that fact. Minimum, I hope you just enjoyed hearing about these products. They do offer uh, free shipping off of any order that's $40 or more. And then if you do order for the first time, they send their this bag. It comes with this like pretty corduroy bag and this really beautiful ochre color. I need to be careful. My hands are covered in lipstick right now. But that also comes, I think, with your first purchase. Anyway, links will be in the description box below. Do stay tuned in the new year for my reviews of those Natasha Denona palettes. They'll be in depth and realistic based on my experience. I'll show a lot of pictures of me wearing looks from those palettes over the many, many days when I tried them out. So if you have any interest in that, those are forthcoming. Also, um, sometime in the middle of next week, I'm going to post a thank you video for all of my subscribers. I've surpassed the 2000 subscriber mark. It'll be the two year anniversary of me dropping my first big video, the Becoming Platinum video, which I consider to be the start of my channel. So it'll be the two year anniversary of that video and my channel opening in earnest. And it will also be my 100th video. So there'll be an Ask Me Anything video coming up in just a few days. So if you're watching this as it drops and you haven't had a chance to ask me some questions, please feel free to do that in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're enjoying your own holiday season and all of the wonderful parties. And I hope you're all doing well out there and I hope you have a great week ahead. Thank you so much for watching. Talk soon. Hey there, editing me. I just wanted to let you know I went to the Merit website to get a photo of this 
kit for my thumbnail and I can see that it's already out of stock. We're getting so close to the Christmas day here. So if you are interested in any of these products, most of them are available individually on the website. So do take a look there. Anyway, I hope you're not disappointed. Um, I hope maybe you're one of the people who grabbed one of these kits and are enjoying it. Thanks guys.